Okay, I'm Sam Harrell. I was I'm, uh, 57 years old now. I was diagnosed with MS in 2005, and uh, I've been to Panama now. This is my fourth trip to Panama. I'm glad I'm coming. Well, when I diagnosed in 2005, uh, it really wasn't real noticeable, you know, and uh, it was some eye problems. And, uh, but then as I continued, I, I coached football. Uh, I was coaching high school football then, and uh, in just the heat, the summer heat in Texas, and uh, would bother me a lot, and uh, just fatigued and, and most of my problem with my lower legs, my lower extremities, my legs, especially my left leg would just wouldn't work. You know, I couldn't lift it, I couldn't dorsiflex the left uh, ankle and so it would drag and it would trip and uh, but but it was lower body stuff and my walking, my balance, my coordination just all oh, just got real bad and it got so bad that in two thousand nine I had to retire from coaching so from 2005 to 2009, I kept coaching. Uh, I used a golf cart most of the time. I couldn't walk around, you know, so I'd use a golf cart up there in the field. And, and uh, uh, but then, uh, like I said, then it got to the point where I just couldn't get around, and so I had to retire. And, and it seemed to just kind of get worse, in fact. But but everything was with lower body. Oh, it's just great. I love it here. You know, they're so, you know, this is my fourth time to come, and, and I came by myself this time, and that, that's just a sign of how much better I've gotten. All the other times, I had to have help through the, you know, the airports and things, and, and, and I was thinking about that just this time when I, when I landed in Panama, and the, the gentleman was there with the sign in his hand, like, that's so nice that y'all do every time I set all that up, and, and there he was, and, and, the, and the last times I've come, you know, as soon as I found him, I had to get in a wheelchair and, you know, and got wheeled there and I just walked to the airport with him this time. Yeah, I mean, that, and so people want to ask, you know, you think it really helps? Well, just, just look, you know, I'm walking through the airport with no, you know, no aids, you know, and so, uh, yeah, it, it's great, but, uh, but the staff is just wonderful and that's what got me off on this story and that I just, every time I come, I just feel like I'm, coming home nearly, you know, it's not home, but it's, it feels so comfortable, you know, and, and they're very, very professional, and uh, it's just a great place, and I always enjoy coming back and seeing everybody, and everybody's so nice to me, and so it's, it's very comfortable. Oh, gosh, yeah, I don't know if you can get that camera, but, you know, before, I mean, I, you know, I couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't make any fast moves, you know, I couldn't walk, you know, I, my walking was like kind of, you know, my stability, my mobility, I was kind of like this, I took little steps, you know, and I had to, had to walk kind of slow like this, if I turned around, I had to kind of do like this, and little steps, you know, and now I can just move and stop, and, you know, I, I don't have a rope, but I can jump rope now, and, you know, I, I couldn't jump rope, I couldn't do any of that, you know, and, and now I can do those things, you know, but, and I don't have to think, and, and people who have MS will know what I'm talking about here, other people don't, but I used to have to think about my steps, you know, I'd have to think about right leg and left leg and move it, you know, and now I don't have to think, you know, and I, and I catch myself doing that too, in that I walk somewhere and I think, hey, I didn't have to think about walking from there to there, I just got to walk like I used to, you know, Natural. and I used to not be able to do that, you know, so... Yeah, so now I, I now I can walk somewhere and stop and turn around and move and you know make quick moves. I couldn't do any of that before. So it's just wonderful, it really is. Well, I would probably say to them, you know, I understand how they feel because I was uh, but but I just and I, and I talk to people nearly every week, you know, they they get my name off something, so they'll call me, and I love talking to them, but that's what I'd encourage them to do. Talk to someone who's been here. You know, find one of us, get our phone numbers, and, and call us. We all like to enjoy talking to you. Uh, but, but that's what, you know, 
talk to someone, but uh, but also just you know realize that we're, we were just like them at one time, and I'm so thankful now that I've this is my fourth time to come, and and that's something else I tell them. You know, don't think after my first one I saw a little bit of improvement, uh, and probably not even noticeable. In fact, my own wife, my wife couldn't notice a whole lot, you know, but but I could. Uh, and after the second one, it was kind of about the same. And then on the third one, oh, yeah, I went from walking like I just showed you, you know, having to think and move real slow to just jumping rope and moving again. And so I'm so thankful I came through. What if I'd have stopped after one? What if I'd have stopped after two? Well, I probably would. I know I wouldn't be like I am now. So uh, I think, and I don't know why that is, but uh, I think with MS especially that you have to come more than once and you have to be patient, you know, and uh, we, we didn't get like this overnight and so we're not going to get back, you know, in overnight. It's not going to be just one trip and get some stem cells and all of a sudden you go from, you know, level one to level ten, you know, you're going to have to be patient and take those little steps and, uh, and I'm just so thankful I came three times and this is my fourth and I'm really coming this time just to kind of help maintain because I don't want to lose any of this good good improvement that I have attained at this point. So uh, it, it's just you know something that you do have to be patient with. But uh, but I'm so thankful that I've come. You know, like I said, like I, I didn't stop after one or didn't stop after two because I, I wouldn't be where I am today. And, and just the rest of my story was is that. You know, I coached football and I had to retire and I couldn't. And I, I never thought I'd coach football again. Well, just this last year, I coached football again. Yeah, amazing. I mean, I, I really I thought I'd never do that again. And, and I coached this last year and plan on doing it again. So that's just thankful to Stem Cell Clinic right here and Stem Cell Institute right here in Panama. And thankful to, the, to, to our God above. You know, I know He's smiling on me too. So. Uh, that's, that's just an amazing story, I think.